Hey guys, Sage here. Uh, just thought I'd do a tutorial on skinning and making a styles menu. Um, for example, what a styles menu is, I don't know if uh, you uh, have gotten my uh, Sage's skin pack or not, which features the styles menu, but just for an example of uh, what it does, we'll take a look at the, uh, the ice pick. See how we have a drop down menu here to choose single sided or double sided? I'm going to teach you how to do that and uh, how to make a different skin. For this example, we are going to make a drop down menu for the snowplow. It'll appear right here and we'll make a, uh, a red version of it. Alright. Um, to do this, however, we do need to download a few things. So let's go to the Game Tech Mods website, uh, the main page, and downloads, tools. So uh, what you need to download is the Make CFL and the Dummies GMF, uh, fixed by Megamite, because he uh, it's works a lot better. Um, as you can uh, might have noticed, I already have both of them right here, ready to use. They're really small. It won't, it won't hurt your uh, memory to download them. Uh, so, why we need to download the Make CFL is because an annoying uh, little thing about Robot Arena 2 is the component text all come in a uh, compiled CSC file, and you can't do anything with that. So we need to uh, get rid of that so you can have all the text files. To do that, it's actually really simple. You just drag this unCFL from the rare. I already had one in there, but I'm uh, just doing this uh, for demonstration. So uh, find it, it's right there. And then find your component CFC and click on it and drag right to the unCFL. You'll see a little black box come up. And now, if you go into your components, all the text files for every component are in there along with your styles and that's uh, where you get your styles menu I'll uh, explain that all in detail after we get our skin uh, uh, actually back into here and uh, like I said we're gonna make a, uh, a red snowplow and uh, I already did it but uh, I'll, uh, I'll do it again <clears throat> just to show you guys um, see I already made a red skin for the snowplow basically I went in uh, Photoshop or you guys probably have paint or you know whatever g gimp um, and I just went adjustments hue and changed it to a red and then made it dark with a ton of saturation kinda like that Anyway, so now we have a red plow. And you save it as Snowplow 2. You don't overwrite the old one. Snowplow 2. Make sure it's a uh, BMP file, bitmap. And then uh, now comes the tricky part. Um, this is where we need the GMF compiler. So you take the GMF file, make a copy of it, paste it on your desktop, it's easier to use. Now go to your GMF, open it up, and you'll see two options, compile and decompile. Um, you're going to want to find your file, snowplow, find it here, and then hit this button, decompile, and it'll say decompilation successful. Open it up with notepad, and it'll be in English. It still looks like gibberish, but it's still in English. And... Uh, the only thing we're going to have to mess with is just this one line right here. It says bitmap snowplow.bmp. Everything else doesn't matter right now. We're going to want to change it to the name of the map we used. See, we have a snowplow2, so we're going to make it snowplow2.bmp. That's all you have to do. You just hit save. And then you hit the button down here that says compile. And you find your file again. Compile it, 
little message and then right here we're uh, gonna rename it to snowplow 2 to match that snowplow 2 and drag it in there so basically what this does this is a new component it's a new snowplow it's not the original one it's a new one but the game can't read it yet it doesn't know it's there and to do that to let it know it's there we have to make a new or uh, edit an existing txt file um, so we'll find the snowplow one and uh, make a copy of it and paste it um, go in there and you'll see it uses snowplow1.gmf we're going to change that to snowplow2.gmf and then if you want you can just do a little description red version in the description file um, and then you're going to want to save that exit and then rename to snowplow2 now go up and find your styles drag snowplow2 in there and now uh, go back to the original snowplow snowplow1 uh, and uh, you can see there's a styles equals default um, we're gonna delete the default this is where we make the drop down menu the styles menu you're gonna want to put uh, blue uh, for the original snowplow because that's the one that's gonna come first that's snowplow1 and then a uh, comma and then it uh, the text points to a style the style we have in the styles menu or the styles folder will be snowplow 2.txt make sure you get the .txt in there and uh, make sure it's all spelled correctly and you're going to do a comma and that one's going to be red <laughs> so if you want to make more say you had a green one snowplow 3.txt green you could just keep adding them <clears throat> and that's how you make the menu but for now we'll just leave it at the red and you're going to save that and so now if we uh, did everything right you can go into your game <clears throat> let it boot up go to uh, team HQ components oh actually I forgot to mention something if you uh, leave the CFZ file in your component section for one this won't work and for two you'll have two copies of everything and so what you need to do is take your file find the uh, component CFZ uh, bring it into your components backup I just made a little folder so that if I mess everything up I have a backup of it and so now we can go into game and I wish it would boot up faster but oh well uh, and so now you'll have one of everything like you should and go into your extras and your original snowplow your blue one should have a drop down menu now component options and the bottom one will be red so you can just select red blue and see our description it says red version that's all you have to do it's it's pretty simple um it gets a little time consuming if you want to do something crazy like the 20 maces i put in the skin pack that took forever um but other than that if you just wanted to uh save your original file then you can just make a styles menu and you're done um, that's it for now uh, I'll probably do some more tutorials later but I hope it helped Sage out